Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct a, board, a metric board and knot of M16 and uh, the height of the knot is 74. Now the first thing you do is to draw your horizontal line this way. Let's focus here. Draw your horizontal line this way. You can see that, and the next thing you do is to place your C square and your T square, then you draw this other line this way, right? Now we realize they are meeting at this point here. Now, since it is M16, you multiply this 16 by 1.5, and that is going to give you 24. Now you take half of 24 from the meter rule, which is 12. This way, right? So once you've done that, you place it at the center here. Then um, you draw your circle this way. Now we have in this. That again. Now, with the help of your first square, right? You move it on your T-square and you draw a line tangential to the edge of the circle this way. Right? So this is the edge here. I'll just draw my line, faint line first. And I'm still going to move the same first square on the T-square until I get to the top also. Now I have this. So this is what I have. Then I'm going to turn it the other way around to face the left hand side. Then I'll do the same thing here. Can see that? So it will pass through this point. Then I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here. So it will pass through this point. So in doing that now, I will now take my square and make sure I'm drawing the horizontal line that is starting short to the edge to the circumference of the circle so what I have I'll come here also I'll do the same thing this is what I have now with the help of my rule I'm going to join here to here right now join here to here. Then from here also to here. Then from here also to here. Right. This is what we have here an hexagon across flat. You can still watch the video that I'm posting the link in front of my screen at the top right corner to watch more video on hexagon across flat. Now, the next thing you have to do is to project all the edges of this hexagon downward. So, with the help of my C square, I can easily do that, placing it on my T square. Then, I will draw the first one. The first one here, I'll take it down this way. I'll go to the next point, which is this. I'll take it down this way. I'm going to go to the next point, which is this. Take it down this way. To the next point, which is this. Take it down this way. Right now, I'll draw this line. And next, now I have to do is to draw a straight line that will touch the beginning of the line and the end of the line. So with the help of my T square, I'll just make it to be at this point to touch the beginning of the line, front line to the end in here. Now for me to know the thickness of this line, I need to multiply my the M16, the 16 for 1.5 by 0 0.7 and that will give me 11.2. So I'll measure 11.2, 11.2.
this 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 thing this is 11.2 somewhere around here right and i will use my t square and draw an horizontal line now just touch faint line so here i multiply 1.5 times what times 16 right it gives me 24 millimeter then here i'll measure my what 1.5 times what 0.7 to give me 11.2 millimeter right now the next thing i want to do is to draw out the cap of this boat and during the cap i'm going to take first of all my um t square and i'll sit it down this way i'll move it to the edge so at this edge here right i'm going to draw an angle of what 60 degree right so this is what i'll do i'll first of all take my compass i'll place it at the center of this shape which is this then i'll place it at the beginning of the line ensure that i want to draw a semicircle right so this is the semicircle that i want to draw this way with faint lines first and after i've done that with the same radius i'll place it at this point where it intersects this vertical line and i'll repeat the same fit this way so i'll have this like this now have this this way now after doing that you realize that it has intersect at this point also at this point and also at this point these are my three points i'm going to use to draw the cap now when i place it at this point here i will extend it to the center here then ensure it's addition to that line and i'll draw this this way all together i'll draw this this way now the next thing i'll do where it touches this intersect here I will adjust it until it touch the top here. I'm going to do the same thing here too. Just touch up here. Right? You can see that. At this point also, I'll do the same thing. Ensure it's touching the top here. Right? Then I'm going to draw this this way. This way. So, where it touches. Now this is what I have here. So I'll use my T square, my C square, to draw an angle of what 30 degree that will be at this end here. Just 30 degree. See that? And I'll move it to this point also. I'll do the same thing. 30 degree. Now I'm going to draw them down, straight down. So I can just draw from here to this point, straight down. Then from here also, straight down to this point. Then here, I'll close it up to this point. And from here also to this point right so now i'm going to close the base with this now this is the cap here we have the cap of the knot now the next thing is for me to draw the shaft now for me to draw the shaft i will have to measure since it is 24 right so i'm going to measure oh you see we have 16 here so i'll measure it to the left and it to the right to make up that 16. so with the help of my rule i'll, I'll measure it or i can easily use my um compass it's more accurate that way and i'll measure it this is it right and I'll come to this point, the center point here. 
Now mark it to the left. Then I also mark what? It to the right. Now I'll rule this point downward. I'll rule it downward. I'll rule it downward this way. Two. From this point, roll it down. Also from this point, I'll roll it down. Right? Now it says the height is 74. So I'm going to measure 74. So 74 I want to measure from here. This is zero. This is 74. 74 will be somewhere around here. Let me just extend it to this point and the next one too to that point also. Alright, now we've done that. Now the next thing we are going to do is this is the 75 measure, that is the metric height. It can be 78, it can be anything, but the given data is 74, so I'll measure the 74 from this point. So I'll just close it up. Alright. Now, the keyword is, I need to measure 0 0.2, that means for me to get the thickness of this base here, I need to multiply 0 0.1 times 16, and that will give me 1.6, so I'll measure 1.6 here, approximately 2, so this is 1.6, this is 1, and 1.6 will be somewhere around here, right, so I'll just show my line at that point. So we have here. So I'll use my 45 degree set square and connect it this way. So this is my 45 degree set square. So the line there should be 45. So I'm going to move it on my T square this way. So when I get to this point, I will just draw a line like this. Then when I get to this point also, I'll draw another line like this so I'll close it up all good so where it meets now for me to know the threading because every boat and not has what is called threading for them to fit in together so since the height which is the length of the of the shaft if it is not up to more than 125 you are going to use the formula that says 2d plus 66 2d plus 6 millimeter this is what you since the height of the shank is not more than 74 so if i do that the 2 the d here is diameter which is 16 right plus 6 so 2 times 16 is 32, 32 plus 6, that will give me what, uh, 438. So I'll take my measurement from the base here, I'll measure 38, right? So I'll use my meter rule, and I'll measure 38. So from here, upward is 38, so this is 30, 38 is somewhere around here. So this is where that um, distance will be. So I'll have this one here. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to use the 60 millimeter here yeah, and take this down. Since I use 45 here, yeah, I'm going to use 60 here yeah, and just bring this down. Just bring it down this way and then. Um, it brings it down too. This way. Which is 60, 60 millimeter here. 60 degrees per square. Now, I will now move it from this point where it meets here. This point here. I will just draw my line upward to that 60. Right? 
from here now I'm moving to this point mm. stop here then I'll come here but I'm going to use my faint line because we are told it's a boat and it's not so I'll use a faint line here so what I'm trying to make you understand is that our trading is at this point this is how far the trade can go right so before I'm taking my line I need to draw my boat my knot at this bit in between these two points here that is where how far it can go so let's see you cannot choose any point here right and draw a faint line this way right for me to get the thickness of the knot here I need to multiply 1.5 and 0 0.8 so 1.5 times 0 0.8 and that will give me I mean 0 0.8 times what times 16 that's what I'm trying to tell you Sorry for that because we are talking about M16 so 0 0.8 times 16 and that will give us 12.8 so I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to measure 12.8 at from this point I measured here then I'm measure 12.8 so this is 0, this is 10, 11, 12 and 12.8 will be somewhere around here approximately 13 so I'm going to close it up here this way you can see that now all these lines you see will be faint line now I've done that so the same thing I used to get this I also use it to get this because both of them are M16 right so if I should uh, take my rule and I project this to this point right and I project this to this point I'm going to repeat the same fit by taking my T my compass I'll project this also to get the center of that line here see the center now I'll take this down so it is meeting at this point here and at this point so I'll take my compass I'll place it at this center here and I'll draw a semicircle also the way I did for the top I'll draw a semicircle this way right so from here I'll have my semicircle place it ending at this point here this is where it is actually ending so what we have so where it cuts the horizontal the other the lowest point of the semicircle I'll place the same radius here and I'm going to draw another one just like the way I did the top now I'm having three points I'm having this point this point and what and this point here so with the help of that I'll place my comp my T square my compass at this point take it to the top here to be tangential and I'll draw the semicircle this way you can see that and place it here also get it to this top point here and I'll do this this way too so I'll stop here come here also repeat the same fit get it to this point here and I'll do the same thing here this way too you can see that so with the help of my 30 degree I'll slide it this way and ensure that it is forming the 30 here I'll do the same thing here also and ensure it is forming the 30 here also here also right so in doing that, I need to do the same thing at the bottom also. I have to replicate the same thing. I'll place it at the center also. I'll do another semicircle, but this time, semicircle will be facing up this way. You can see it's facing up this way. So where it meets this point, I'll place my compass there, and I'm going to draw another one again this way. So if you notice it, it's meeting at this point and at this point. And at this point and I'll take my compass place it at this point where it intersect the vertical line I'll take it to the base here this line and I'm going to do this this way right I'll do it that way and where it intersects here 
x I'll do the same thing from here these are these points and I'll draw my flag this way there we go so you do the same thing too come here also do the same thing also Now, when you've done that, you're going to join here. So, just like I did earlier, use your 30 degree also to chamfer the edge and also you turn it the other way around to chamfer here also, just like this. And you join them together. So, if I join here, I'll have this this way, I'll have this this way. I'll have this this way and um, I'll just draw my straight line because there must straight line like this to touch the two of them and here also straight line like this then I'll close it up right so this one too, I should be able to close it up too. Mm -hmm. Now, after doing that, I should just take in it. So from here to this point, I'll take in it a touch here. Then here, I'll take it up to a touch here. Right? Also from here to this point, I'll take in it a touch here. Then here, I'll take it a touch here. Now, here, to touch here and here to stop here here also to touch here then you to touch here now close here is to this point and here to this point and I'll close it up right now, this is what we have. This is a boat, and I should be able to close it up too. Right? Now, between here and here, so let me do the dimension in Swiss, what I'm talking about. From this point to this point, is it's called the trading. So, I'll go from this point. This point as well as B, which is our threading, right? Which completed it to be this. Then the other one I have from here to this point here, right? So we have this to this point here. This is our shank. Look at this. Close it there. So that is the length of the shank. I'm going to call it the length L. This is the treading. And so on and so forth. So this you see is our um so so this is a boat and a knot. Hexagonal boat and a knot of what we call it our M16 by what by 74 to the metric button not. so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching